Welcome guys, here today I want to leak the new dragon with you, but before we leak it, first of all the info on the bottom right, you can see two new codes for the official store, um, there you can uh, buy the divine dragon, uh, divine dragon tokens uh, that you need for the new event, and also I have the info there will be a new event coming, I don't have any infos yet about it, but let's see what it is and now let's talk about the new dragon. The new dragon is called Arjus or Arjus. Um, I don't know if it's a good name um, since we already have a dragon that's called Arjus. So just the E and the W is switched. Uh, I don't know if that's good. Um, this dragon is an SP dragon. Uh, it's, it's an SP <coughs> Hunter Dragon, um, those who know uh, Eternal Evolution will know Arches as Artemis in the game and yeah, let's, let's talk about the skills and what he can do. So Arches unleashes Fell Energy, dealing damage equal to 500% of the attack to all nearby enemies and knocking them back by 5 meters. Following this, Arches enters the second phase, Sacrifice State. The normal attacks simultaneously target three enemies. Firing one ma magic orb at each target. For every 200 attack speed, Arches has the number of magic orbs increased by one, which basically means she needs 600 um, attack speed to maximize her potential, because it's up to a maximum of three shot per shots. Each magic orb deals damage equal to 80% of the attack and can trigger normal attack effects. Um, this basically means um, from the sets that we have that are doing basic uh, attack trigger things. Um, this state lasts for 7 seconds. Then we have Arches moves 3 meters towards the nearest enemy and fires 6 magic orbs at it, each doing damage equal to 120% of the attack. Um, for sure it's always can be boosted with uh, leveling up, so I'm just reading the basic. Every third normal attack by Arches triggers a special effect. A magic chain is created at the target's location, dealing true damage equal to 150% of Arches' attack power. The chain bounces between up to three enemies, permanently reducing their max HP by an amount equal to 80% of the damage dealt. This effect does not apply to bosses and elite monsters. The damage cannot critically hit. If Soul Steel hits an enemy with an electric barrier, Arches permanently gains the electric barrier, reducing all damage received by 80%. Um, this uh, can crit later on when you have more ascension on him, so don't worry. So then, fourth skill Arches gains one evil eye every 6 seconds, up to a maximum of 5 stored. Before an enemy charges or immediately after an enemy teleports, Arches automatically fires one evil eye at the target, which basically means this is against uh, warriors or uh, against our rogues. Dealing damage equal to 320% of the attack, interrupting the charge and stunning the target for 2 seconds. When Arches is about to take damage, they immediately consume one evil eye to restore 200 rage. This effect can trigger at most once every 3 seconds. A sacrifice enhancement. At the end of its duration, Arches unleashes Fell Energy. The Wu enhancement. The Wu grants 50% life steal. So steal enhancement. Damage is increased by 20% and can bounce up between 5 enemies. Evil Enhancement. When consuming an evil eye to restore a rage, Arches gains a shield equal to 1000 of his attack power and becomes immune to all control effects for 1.5 seconds. True Entanglement Enhancement. Damage is increased by 20% and dispels the target's invisibility effect. When 3 or more hunters and mage dragons are deployed, Arches continuously attacks the enemy area at the start of the battle, with each projectile and dealing 60% of Arches' attack to the first enemy it hits. This effect lasts for 20 seconds. 
The faster Arches attack speed, the higher the attack frequency. Capping at 400 attack speed points. Talents. If the damage from Unleashing Fell Energy critical hits, it stuns the target for 2 seconds after the knockback. So she gets this done if you crit. Um, then we have the Magic Orb released by the Vu can trigger normal attack effects. Um, this is the thing that I mean, it's not by Ascension, it's by Talent, sorry. Um, the damage from Soul Steel can critically hit. And then she gets enter the battle with 3 evil eyes. And at the start of the battle, all allied hunter and magic dragons have their attack and max HP increased by 10%. So yeah guys, that's the infos about the new SP dragon that is coming this week, um, I think. He's not that great in Eternal Evolution, but I have a feeling in Summer Dragons 2 with all the dragon links, this hero can be insane good. So it can dominate um, for a pretty long while, I think, because um, we have um, Arjus, we have Arches, and we have Neptune. Um, these three together can be really, really deadly. So. Yeah guys, um, that's it for the video, hope you like it, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, don't miss out the other videos that are dropping soon, peace. Here is everyone.